Hello and welcome back to Stationers. My name is Bigfoot and today we're taking a look at air conditioners. So there's a few different ways that you can cool your base on any planet in Stationers. Um, one way if you're on a cooler planet would be to have some kind of a passive system with radiators outside, radiators on the inside, some kind of working gas and some valve between them. Um, that requires very little effort, no, very little power, obviously. Um, but uh, as far as some of the electronic options that you have, uh, we have the wall cooler. Um, the wall cooler has a few different caveats with it um, that you have to keep in mind. The pressure in the room needs to be above a certain threshold. I believe it's around 10 kPa in order for it to function. The other option, or the other caveat, is that you need some kind of a pressure in your pipe. Uh, if it is too low, it won't function. The pressure different, sorry, the temperature differential between the pipe and the room, um, the greater that gets, the more power this thing uses, it can use a maximum of 1000 watts or one kilowatt, essentially. Um, so that's something to keep in mind. So it's easy power, but really expensive. Uh, the other option that we have is the air conditioner. The air conditioner's basic operational principle is it takes the input gas, so you can use some kind of a, a vent system like up here uh, for the room have that go into your air conditioner uh, the air conditioner will take heat energy from the input gas and put it into the waste pipe and the resulting output gas will be cooler um, and then this would run out to some kind of a radiator system to uh, to basically shed that heat so looking at the air conditioner you have a couple of different um, efficiencies you have operational temperature efficiency temperature differential efficiency and the pressure efficiency looking at the stationpedia page uh, so that you can reference what they are this middle uh, larger paragraph here talked about what they are but basically it is the temperature um, if the gas coming in is too hot or too cold then it won't uh, be as efficient if the temperature if the temperature differential between the input and the waste pipe is too high, then that'll go down, and then obviously the pressure, if the input pressure is too low, then it uh, then it will go down as well. Right now we're sitting on Mars atmosphere, it's only 2 kPa in here, which is why we're basically showing zero, so this thing's not really doing anything. Um, the AC operates on two different modes, essentially. Uh, when it is cooling, it is going to take heat energy from the input, put it into the waste pipe, and when in heating mode, it's going to take waste energy from the pipe and put it into the output, resulting in a hotter gas. So with that in mind, we can do something like this. So this AC is cooling. This one is trying to remove as much, or trying to heat up the gas as much as possible. This one is trying to cool it down as much as possible. So it's taking in this hotter gas. It is trying to cool it down as much as possible, dumping as much heat as it can, heat energy into the red pipe. So this would be our hot side. And then the heating AC is basically scraping as much energy as it can from the blue pipe, uh, resulting in even cooler gas, uh, which that heat energy is also being dumped into this uh, red pipe. Um, this system could be expanded and it could add another pair over here and do the same thing. Uh, resulting in a in a cooler gas, but as you can see the blue side we have a minus 89.5 C and the red pipe is 177 C So on this side in order to get rid of the extra heat you would just um, move that out to some kind of a radiator array um, Or do some something else with it So on the cold side then we can uh, use that gas into some kind of a digital valve um, to control the room's temperature here uh, through a heat exchanger, so these two um, these two gas networks don't mix. So this is the room mix. This is um, just still straight nitrogen. And then um, when you open up the valve, uh, we should see the room drop in temperature. We should see it drop in temperature. However, it is so cold in here already that the ACs are going to struggle to um, to scrape out that uh, the heat energy from it essentially. Um, but as you can see, we are down to minus 41. Um, so yeah, anyway, um, so this is a drawn out version of basically what I did on Venus and we'll pop over to Venus here in one second and just check out 
can make this a lot more compact and make it look a lot more cool okay so here we are on my venus world with that that same ac setup that we had before um except this time it's a lot more compact and uh aptly named the spaghetti monster um so this ac is still cooling down to minus 270 this one over here is still heating up to 999 i just wanted to uh i was very space challenged when i originally set up the um, cooling on this world and um, i like the look of it so i just kind of left it so you can do that too um but the nice thing about this is that with the normal ac you're only going to see a heat difference or drop of about 50 degrees c however when you're using something like this um, that differential can be uh, much greater so these two ACs is all I need to cool this room down on Venus, which is uh, very hot all the time. Um, you don't have the Vulcan nighttime benefit, so this is just always like 470 degrees C. Anyways, I hope that helps. Um, hope you enjoyed, and I will see you all in the next one. Thanks for joining me today, everybody.